you know, one of the toughest shots in golf to hit is a straight shot. That's why the tour players are known as either right to left players or left to right players because they can curve their ball with consistency where they can't hit a consistent straight shot. So next time you go to the driving range and hit some balls, here's a good idea for you. Every shot should have a start line and a finish line. So if I'm trying to draw the ball, I want my ball starting to the right so that it can draw into the flag. Obviously, if I'm fading it, it go the other way and fade into the flag. So what you do is you take a ball and you set a ball either on a tee or you can hit them off the ground kind of in a straight line back, you know, starting from here and working your way back. But if I, if I look here, I put a pole out in line with the ball and in line with my target. Okay, so when I come over here to address the ball and now I look at the pole, it actually looks like the pole has shifted some 10 to 15 yards to the right. It's amazing the perception of where my start line needs to be relative to that pole based on where I'm standing. And what I want you to think about, today I'm hitting a draw, so if you want to think of the right side of that pole as being the green zone, or painted green, the left side is red. And what my goal is as I practice is to get every ball started in the green zone. You know, I think I heard many years ago when I was growing up, you know, you want to try to eliminate one half of the golf course. And if you can do that, you're going to be a lot more confident on your shots as opposed to missing them left and right. So what our idea is, is to make swings started in the green zone every time, and then all you've got to do is control how much it draws, whether you hang it to the right or draw it back, so you really only have one variable. So as I set up, now I look out towards my start line, I'm going to look to the right of that, I'm going to hit my shot, and now I can see what my ball's doing relative to the pole. So if I can get every ball starting to the right, the only thing left is how much does it curve back. So think in terms of that start line and that finish line, and you're going to be a lot more consistent.